Good morning, honorable judges and audience. Today, we'll comment on the financial and sustainability practices of Carrier Logistics Network Limited, along with recommendations for improvements based on the SWOT analysis, which is also our highlight. Without further ado, let me start by introducing the group. As the leading logistics service provider in Asia, Carrier Logistics Network Limited has two business segments. The integrated logistics services offered in Asia included storage and value-added services, tracking and distribution, and returns management, while international freight forwarding services involve transporting cargo using air, ocean, and cross-border road freight forwarding between Asia and Europe. In 2021, the group partnered with SF Holding to leverage its current advantages the partnership positions the group as Asia's largest third-party logistics provider and gives it an advantage in handling market challenges by becoming a platform for international business. On top of that, the group aims to leverage its current advantages, utilize latest technology and fulfill sustainability goals while prioritizing human care and attention. Now, let's hand over the time to Sharon to talk about the financial analysis. The overall profitability increased in 2021, with an increase in revenue and therefore net profit margin and gross profit margin. This indicates that the group has a high ability to control its cost of sales and operating expenses. The increase in revenue also led to improvement in management efficiency. Next slide, please. The increase in average total assets turnover shows the group has high efficiency to utilize the assets to generate profits. As for short-term liquidity ratios, the slight drop in cash ratios indicates the group is facing a trivial liquidity problem and a relatively unstable cash position. However, the current ratio shows the group is able to meet its short-term obligation with their current assets. The group has satisfactory improvement in solvency and long-term debting ability. Last, last slide. Thank you. Although the debt to equity ratio slightly increases, the group is still less risky to face the financial distress. Moving on to investment ratios, the rising EPS ratio shows high potential returns for investors. The ratio overall increased the attractiveness for others to invest in the group. Now let's move on to our sustainability analysts. Community is an existential stakeholder of the group. A good reputation can be built among the community if effective measures are taken. First of all, the effect of logistic industry on the environment is a large concern identified by the group. Therefore, a few measures like set up internal guidelines to forbid the trade of protected animals and actively participating in environment protecting activities is done by the group. This improves the legitimacy of the group of being an ethical company and fulfill the sustainable development number 13 and number 15. Besides, the group also strives to help the unprivileged in the society. Both overseas and local measures are taken, like some employees of the group become the tutors of single parents' children, which help the development of future pillars of the society. Internship programs in Singapore also provide the job opportunities to the fresh graduates. This allowed an effective partnership established between the group and the public, fulfills the sustainable development goal number 11 and number 17. Now let's pass the time to Bernice to talk about the other two stakeholders, which are employees and customers. Having a relatively high risk of injuries in the logistic industry, the group ensures employee safety by constructing a comprehensive safety management system, which includes measures shown on our PowerPoint. This boosts employees' confidence in the group, raising their productivity as well as improving the group's service quality and output, fulfilling sustainable development goals three and eight. The group also faces internal challenges, yet it aims to cater to the needs of every employee by providing training to raise awareness on equal opportunity, maintaining open dialogue through a 24-hour counseling hotline and annual employee appraisals. These measures show great success as there were no incidents of discrimination in 2021. The harmonious working environment has motivated employees to build stronger relationships with their colleagues, fulfilling sustainable development goal eight and 10. On the other hand, 
The group prioritizes customer privacy and data protection. It ensures that employees are trained to handle customer information carefully and that contracts specify the scope of confidentiality. No customer's information may be used for promotional activity without specific approval. This has eased customers' concerns on privacy and improved their impression of the group, leading to a stable business and increased customer confidence, fulfilling Sustainable Development Goal 17. Last but not least, the group uses advanced technology to achieve sustainability goals and improve the quality services. It utilizes robots and automatic services, such as the automated service, picking service in the mainland, and the track and trace systems, making customers' consumption more convenient. This has attracted more customers and investors through speedy and reliable services, increasing capital for the group's further development, and fulfill Sustainable Development Goal 17. Now, let me pass the time to Chloe to talk about the SWOT analysis and also some recommendations. We have classified the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of the group. The high awareness of achieving SDGs for different stakeholders, such as the privacy of customers, helps the group make a good corporate social responsibility, stabilizing its position of market leadership. The previous technology adoption helps the group make good connections with tech companies. However, the scattering of technology makes its functions cannot be maximized. There are also rising communication problems due to the rising number of employees from different countries. Moreover, threats such as trade relations between China and the US and rising competitive pressures of strong competitors, such as the Panopina Group, might also pose some potential dangers towards the future development of the group. Therefore, the group is highly recommended to utilize opportunities such as the pandemic realization and trend of adopting technology and its diverse strengths to solve its weaknesses and threats. In the first recommendation, we aim to solve two main problems, the rising competitive pressure and the communication problems. The group has added technology to production. However, it is not advanced enough to leave competitors far behind. To address this threat, the group should capitalize on technology development prospects and use its connections with tech companies to develop more advanced technology, especially AI. Therefore, we propose the adoption of VoiceBot in two aspects, including training and problem solving of employees and also voice navigation in the track and trace system. A voice bot is like a chatbot, but it uses voice to answer questions and communicate like a normal conversation. It can provide every language, which helps alleviate communication problems. The voice bot's first function is training and problem solving for employees by acting as a tutor, answering questions, and giving suggestions. The group can use its e-learning platform as the database of voice bot adding detailed introductions of operation processes and measures for potential incidents and emergencies. The VoiceBot mainly caters for employees and trainees from the four programs of Youth Executive Academy. In order to cater for every duty, some QR codes will be staked in every workplace. When employees open the VoiceBot, and then they can scan the QR code, for example, Sharon, who is responsible for keeping work in the warehouse, is now scanning the QR code. The VoiceBot then changes the mode to storage and value added services. And then, after putting on an earphone, Sharon can hear the VoiceBot start introducing. There are six main steps in kitting in total. The first step is. Besides introducing their duties, employees can also ask VoiceBot questions when they face troubles. Hey, Carrie, can I ask for the content of the kit number 139? Yes, it's a pack of rubber. Thank you, Bernice and Sharon. From this mini drama, we can see that employees are able to familiarize themselves with their duties and solve problems independently by the assistance of VoiceBot. The VoiceBot's second function is voice navigation, which works with the live map in the track and trace system. It delivers messages about changes in roads and tasks, guide drivers, reminds them of traffic and road conditions, and alerts the headquarters to emergencies. VoiceBot adoption helps employees familiarize with their duties conveniently, reducing manpower waste and increasing employees' and trainees' independence. 
voice navigation prevents delays, improves productivity, and saves fuel costs. This increases competitiveness of the group and mitigates pressure from competition. Language detection and a diverse learning material storage address communication problems caused by global employee diversity. So now let's pass the time to Gigi to talk about our second recommendation. After talking about the voice ball, let me now talk about our second recommendation. Imagine you are a driver or a customer, and you are looking for a way to streamline the freight process to make it more efficient. That's where CarryGo comes in. This all-in-one app is designed to make freight management a breeze for both employees and customers. Based on the SWOT analysis, the group has several strengths, including a market leadership position, high awareness of achieving sustainable development goals, and a willingness to adopt new technology. However, the scattered application of technology within the business is identified as a weakness that can lead to inefficiency in the logistic process. As the logistic industry becomes increasingly competitive, it is essential for the group to continuously innovate and develop new technologies to stay ahead with the opportunity under the relaxations of pandemic restriction measures. In response to these challenges, CarryGo, a one-stop app for fleets, is proposed. Now, we would like to take you through a mini drama to show you how CarryGo works. Hmm, I want to send some goods to ABC's company's warehouse. What can I do? No problem. With CarryGo, you can easily place your order and track your package in real time. Just log into your own account, enter the pickup and drop off location, then select the type of service you need. Our driver will take care of the rest. Hey, Carry, I've just accepted a new job. Can you guide me to the destination? Sure. GPS is now activated, and here's the live map. I will guide you through the quickest and safest route and remind you of any road conditions and traffic jams along the way. Hmm, how will I know when my package has arrived? Don't worry, we've got you covered. CarryGo will send you an online questionnaire. We send you real-time notifications about the location and movement of your package when your package passes specific location or when it arrives at its destination to prevent message being unread, which usually occurs with the use of emails and SMS. In this way, we can provide you with higher visibility, accessibility, and data connectivity. Carrie, I just de delivered a package. What's next? Great job, driver. Carrie Go will send an online questionnaire to the customer. Bing asking for the feedback on the delivery experience. The responses will be collected and analyzed by artificial intelligence, providing a detailed report for you and the management team at the end of the year, so as to help make further improvements. And there you have it. With CarryGo, you can enjoy a hassle-free delivery experience with real-time checking, voice guidance, and customer feedback. By utilizing the scattered technology and adopting new technology like data analysis by AI in an all-in-one app, CarryGo increases the transparency and fluency of the fleet process and well utilizes the valuable data for comprehensive analysis, ultimately increasing the group's market com competitiveness. Moreover, by launching and promoting the app in app stores, CarryGo can increase exposure to potential customers worldwide. As pandemic restrictions ease and economic recovery take place, CarryGo can help business recover and increase their outputs. Also, having a market leadership position, the technology improvement in the group for CarryGo can also lead to other logistic companies to follow, advancing the technological level and productivity of the whole in logistic industry. In conclusion, CarryGo is a game-changing app that promises to make the freight process more efficient and also transparent. In conclusion, I would like to highlight. I would like to conclude by highlighting the importance of technology development for the group in the logistic industry. The financial analysis shows that the group is improving on all fronts, including inventory optimization and also investment returns. Moreover, the group has put great effort in different stakeholders to achieve sustainable development goals, such as employees, customers, and also the community. However, there is still room for improvement in terms of implementing technology more comprehensively to other stakeholders. We propose two measures, including the voice bot and carry goal, which can optimize customer service and utilize the resources of the group through artificial intelligence. They also help further develop the group's technology and forth in business, bring the whole industry to a new tech-based era. Through the measures, we hope three Fs can be achieved, which is to fully 
utilize its resources to further increase sales and productivity and to fulfill sustainable development goals. Let's carry, carry go. go! Thank you. Thank you, team. Okay, very interesting presentation. So um, to start with, I have a question in financial analysis. So um, your analysis show that the um, companies has got some liquidity problem, right? Short-term liquidity, while its uh, performance on long-term solvency is quite good. So um, does it have any implication or do you have any recommendation for the company how to improve its liquidity, given that it's uh, having a very good long-term solvency, right? So for example, uh, will you recommend a company to borrow money in the long term to like uh, uh, solve the short-term liquidity problem? So what will be the factors that you will consider behind? Uh, for the liquidity problem, I think that I would recommend the group to borrow money because like uh, as shown in current ratio, the group is actually have having enough uh, access to meet its obligations, but its cash ratio implicating that its cash and check balance is not really enough to uh, paying its debts. But for the next slide, long solvency, the group is having a quite good performance. So if the group is able to borrow money and I think the group is able to repaying its debts in long term. So I think this is a reasonable and feasible way to sh solve the problem. Uh, have you considered any risks behind, like borrowing uh, more money in the long term? Uh, or do you have any other recommendations to solve the short-term liquidity problem apart from borrowing? Uh, I think our measures, our measures can increase the revenue and make the, uh, make the development of, uh, make our group to further development. So the revenue, I think the revenue can be generated from the our measures, which increase the customer basis and also help the development of the group, which help to solve the liquidity problem. Thank you. Hello. Um, uh, for the team, you, you put a lot of effort in talking about sustainability. But uh, seems like um, the, the team has forgot that this carrier logistic network is a listed company. Um, the core focus of us, of course, is the business, and um, and uh, the primary objective of list the company is to maximize the health of the wealth of the shareholders. So, um, did the team got any recommendation how to improve the profitability of the company? Uh, because I didn't s see that in in your presentation. So, thank you for your question. Um, we understand that um, sustainability actually is very important in our long-term development as well because a business not only should focus on its um, economic base but should also, as a long-term um, well development, it should also focus on sustainability which um, is beneficial for different stakeholders and I think our measures including the voice board and also the carry goal can help to solve this problem because um, by um, improving the whole efficiency and also the um, of the uh, logistic process. For example, when using VoiceBot, it actually can help s um, solve employees' problems and during the whole process, employees can work more faster and also more efficiently. And therefore, it in terms to help um, increasing the outputs in long term as well. And for the carry goal, as customer experience can be enhanced, like for example, we will provide an um, online questionnaire to them and also they will receive notifications and different things. So by keep improving customer experience on when they're using our service, they can keep, um, they will provide a loyalty to our group so to help increase the long term output. Thank you. Maybe I take the time. Uh, I'll give you a little bit more time to complete uh, answering my questions. Uh, from your two initiatives, if uh, Carrot Logistics just asked you to pick one, because one is more internal and another one is more external to the customer, one is to the staff. So which one would you pick and what's the reason why you set the higher priority over that? Um, I think we will choose the voice board because I think this is a new measure. And then for the carry go, I think um, 
the app is actually quite similar in the app in the market, and but the voice bot is really uh, creative. And then in other companies that they don't have it, and also the voice bot can also help the uh, employees' problems, and then say uh, like alleviating the communication problems, which is arising because of uh, the groups has uh, Asia employees and then. Uh, American employees, and then it makes their productivity becomes like lower. But with the with the voice bot, we think it, we can uh, like solve the employees' problems first, but uh, make the customer aspects be the later one. Thank you.